I see injustice to a man who is completely innocent for the sins of the of the actual sinners who are not innocent and the one who's paying the price is this innocent man not the people who actually committed those sins so I can answer well, I can answer you with that um, if example like is all the people in the world right now every single human being we all have sin on our soul no matter who it is we all have sin. I agree so. because nothing what we're going to ever do is going to even I'm the nicest person ever I'm still going to have something that's not going to be for God because we're on the earth now where there's obviously evil we have good forces we have evil as well so forever no, I agree we all sin we all I, I don't dispute yeah. that. okay so if you, if you want to imagine, because we can't imagine the heaven, the holy place of God, where we have, to, when we die, this is the place we're going to go. Do you think that God is going to allow anybody inside of his holy place for sin? Even my own home, I can't let someone that's bad come and visit my house and stay at my house. And I'm just human in my home because I'm afraid like I bring in my house, you know? Didn't you say earlier God. God can do anything? Yeah. Now you're saying he can't, he can't no, 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 let he, you into the kingdom no. unless you are no, no, free of sin? No. You contradicted yourself no, from the earliest statement. No, that's a contradiction to say that about God. If God is going to um, let evil into the heaven. I didn't say evil. I never said evil. Yeah, but when we have this, this is the holy of the holy. If we're going to go there, we can't go with sin on our side. All of us that's why I said, can he not forgive you? And then enter you into the kingdom. No, but this is a Yeah, he can. He forgives everyone who wants to be forgiven. Exactly. So why repent. the need for the human sacrifice? You have to be repent. You know, you have to want to be forgiven, you know. But I'll tell you the reason for the... the human sacrifice, Jesus, yeah. Now, why Jesus came, not just about sacrifice, but many reasons why Jesus would have to come. Because there's no other way to get into the heaven unless that's, so, that's, that sin is taken off you. Forgive why not? But, but no, but wait, no, I'm gonna forgive someone that's bad. Why not? Yeah. No, wait. As a human, oh, if you oh, can no, forgive, forgive, then why can God? No, no, no I will. Forgive. No, no, listen, let me explain to you. Let me really explain Yeah, go on, explain to me. Why can you forgive this and why can God? This person is gonna go to the heaven, not me. I'm talking about God. It's gonna allow yes. someone to heaven, but yes. with sin on them into the heaven. Yes. He said the After only, forgiving them, why can't he? You're asking me the reason why Jesus came. That's the reason he came, to save us from the sin on our soul. So, true Jesus. Actually, I didn't ask you why Jesus came. I asked you, why no, can't you God forgive you your sins? No, you did. You said to me, why? What's the point of a sacrifice? I'm yeah, exactly. It's about the sacrifice, not why he came. But that's what I'm telling you. Okay. That's so, the, no, let me finish. Yeah, go on. He came, when Jesus that came, that's the reason he came. He came to save you, to take this for your sin. By human sacrifice. This is the sin that you have in your soul. That's the point. But that's why he came originally. Not just with the sacrifice. Do you mind? We're having one conversation. No, I do. No, I don't want you to interrupt. It's in there, aren't you? Well, don't show me. You're making the argument. It's not there. And the fact of the matter is, men have throughout time burnt women and children. Just ignore it. It's okay. That's my business. God never spoke. So, what I'm saying is that if he was able to forgive, and then well, enter you, you are, into yours. the kingdom of heaven. Why is that not possible? I'm okay. telling you, like, why? Up and ask it's like, not there to the answer, up, but, you know, on only the God knows the answer, but I'm telling oh, you what I know of it's from there. true, like, the true scriptures like, and true my own self, I know. Is there's no only that's the only bridge you can get to the heaven. Are you sure about that? No, listen, Jesus okay. said the only way to heaven is through me. There's no other way to the Father. Yeah, which means in believing in it. But yeah, exactly. Well, believe in him and the reason why he came. And he's, that's why he's the Messiah. Do you know we believe in him? No, but so you're asking we me Muslims believe in why him. he sacrificed for us because the, the greatest thing you could ever do for a person is give up your life for them. And that's the point. Okay. And that's why we're going to Listen go to, to heaven. You said the greatest thing you can do is to give up your life. Yes? I tell you. Which, which, which means to give up your life I give you the answer. to save someone. But if someone was able to save you without giving up his life, would that be the more logical and rational choice? You're skipping everything I said. I'm not talking. That's not the only reason he came. No, but he came to say. I don't think you heard what I said. I said if God is able to forgive you and then let you into the kingdom of heaven, is that a possibility with God? So you're asking me, is it possible for God to let people with sin on their soul into heaven? No, you didn't hear me. See, that's a problem. You didn't hear me. Okay. Once again, I'll repeat. If God is able to forgive your sin, that means you have no Wait, more sin. Speaks love. If God is able to forgive your sin, yeah, that means you have no more sin left. Yeah. Because He's forgiven you. Yeah. Yes. Once He's forgiven you and you are now free of sin, okay. and then He lets you into the kingdom of heaven, is that a possibility? Now I understand you. Good. It's, Answer the question. It's not about God forgiving the sin on your soul. It's on your soul. It's already there. Can He you forgive your sin or not? But it's already there. You have this on you. That's You're the point of him coming. Can he forgive your sin or not? That's yes, the question. That's the point of him coming. That's the reason he came.
time. No, you see, once again, you're not answering the question. Is God able to forgive your sins or not without dying? This is why he can forgive your sins without dying. Yeah, when, you, when you repent through Jesus. Okay, let's see. He forgives I'll your sins. Listen, that's listen. My answer, no, that's good. That's good. The question answer. was this. Listen again. Can God forgive your sin without shedding blood? No. You can only it, it, he never came to shed blood. On, it's not the way you're saying. He just came to shed blood. I told you. He just came to shed. When did he say that? He came I said, to listen get, to the question again. Can God forgive your yes. sins without the shedding of blood? To take the sin off your soul, he had to sacrifice something. Ah, so you're saying no, in other words. He had to, Am I right? I said, yeah. He had to, he had no, to, no, no. This is God's logic. I have, I, I'm not. God's logic? He had to sacrifice. Yeah. I have okay. to say. Earlier you said God him. can do anything. Yeah. Now you're telling me God that's, cannot. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Earlier you made the statement, God can do right, anything. So if he wants to come to the earth, so he can come to earth. you're not accepting what I'm telling you. And that's my answer. No, 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 I'm not saying accepting. But now you're saying, I'm saying, I'm, I never I'm, said that. You're I'm using your own statement, no, which no, you made earlier. Not, you're, you're, remember? You're twisting my statement. No, 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 hear me out. Do you remember it. earlier when I asked you, can God, who is who is unlimited, can he come into this limited world? Okay, if you think I'm... trying to twist that. Okay, I'm saying God, I didn't say that. Hear me out. And tell me, tell me if you said this or not. Earlier, earlier when we had this discussion, that the unlimited God can he come into this limited world that's the, that's the at least hear me out before you yes, say something are you listening earlier you made the statement that this unlimited God if he wanted to come in a limited world he can do it right those were your statements did I twist anything so far no I know what you're trying to say good now you're saying when I asked you the question can this God who is almighty and unlimited can he save you? Yeah, wait, wait, at least listen. I know what you're going to listen to the no, listen to the question. Okay, there's no need for the eye roll. Listen to the question. When I'm saying, when I when I'm saying, when I ask you the question, can this God who is Almighty, unlimited, can he forgive you without the shedding of blood? What was your answer? Well, he obviously can't. That's the reason why Jesus came. But Jesus came to shed his blood. Yeah, because he can't have anyone with a sin on their soul going into heaven. So we are going back to the same no, wait, narrative now. I'm giving you the answer. I can't answer more than that one. He can't let you into the heaven with the sin on your soul. He can't get there, okay? I said, you after forgiving you, I've repeated this many times. Can he forgive you he without has, the shedding of blood? Already, that's why he came, because he loves us so much. No, but he did shed his blood. Okay, let me make you a bad. Of he forgive you, he's coming to, to save you. That's why he's... No, no, it wasn't forgiveness. It's called payment my blood. For example... But God can't let you in with us. So that's what God can't let you into the heaven with sin on yourself. Because it's the almighty heaven of the holy. You can't enter with that. Through Jesus you can. That's the only way. It's not my words, it's in the gospel and that's what Jesus said. I, I, I agree with you, it's in the gospel in Hebrews. Yeah. Sorry, in the, in, in, in the New Testament it says there is no... It's not me. Listen, listen. I'm not in, in Hebrews, it's I'm not story. saying you are. Yeah, it's I'm not saying. The in Hebrews chapter... Uh, Hebrews 22, 22, 9, I believe. It says, there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Do you agree with that statement? Hebrews 22, 9. Go home and check it if you don't believe me. Okay? It says, there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. You see, that is a Christian understanding. Yeah, but there's more than that the story. You just put in one part, like that's all there is. Like you have to shed I didn't say that's all it is. I said that is a condition. Well, yeah, for this, to give up something to, to get us in. If you want to put a short, <laughs> that's the way. I'm reading a Bible. If you don't believe in it, that's a different like, thing. Obviously, there's something that God knows that we don't know, but that's what he's Sorry, explaining no, to just us. Hold okay? okay, listen. If God has made a condition that he yeah. cannot forgive you, Unless he never said he can't forgive us. Well, it says there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. So unless you, either you're not reading yeah, or the, understanding the, the what means, the Bible is saying. Maybe the spirit, the artist, the sin on yourself. Same thing. So it's a, it's, there's no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Do you agree with that statement or disagree? Because that's from your Bible. You give me agree to disagree. <laughs> you are agreeing to disagree with the Bible. That statement is not mine. It's from the Bible. Okay. So you agree to disagree with the Bible. I didn't say I did agree to disagree. So either you agree or disagree. No, I said you're asking me agree. I disagree. Yeah. Question. Like, I'm asking you, do you agree with this statement from the Bible, which says there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood? Do you agree with this statement or disagree with this statement? Yeah, that's God's way. I agree. You agree. Good. So now, the question which I've been asking you all along, that you cannot be forgiven without the shedding of blood, is true. It's from the, it's from the Bible. You see, in... Uh, if you if you read for example certain passages in the bible for example it says here 
Then David said to Nathan, do you believe that, do you remember David when he committed adultery? He was forgiven by God? No, 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 no. no. You remember that passage? In the Bible, in the, in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. Old Testament is the Bible. Yeah. Okay? That's what I mean, yeah. The yeah. So it says... Well, yeah, the Bible is the Bible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it says here, then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan replied, the Lord has taken away your sin. You're not going to die. Yes? So Jesus wasn't there. Why you During the time of David, Jesus wasn't born yet. So Nathan is saying, the Lord has taken away your sin. You are not going to die. You know what that means? Obviously, we know that David died. He's not immortal. Right? What it means is that he will not have an eternal death. That means he's going to live. He's going to be saved. Without any sacrifice of an animal or that of a human, he was forgiven. Which goes against your statement that you, God cannot just forgive you. Actually, he did in the case of David. I'll give you more statements from the Bible if you want. It says here, then I acknowledge, this is from Psalm 32.5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my trans transgression to the Lord and you forgive the guilt of my sin. So again, God forgives a sin without any sacrifice. This is Psalm 32.5. I'll give you more if you want. It's in Isaiah 1, 18 to 19. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Again, God is telling you that if you are obedient, then you will have good things of the land. There's no mention of any, uh, any uh, what he say, punishment there. Uh, another passage, again, let's read something from the New Testament. Okay. Actually, in New Testament, there's no such thing. There's, there's this Hebrews 9.22, sorry, it wasn't 22, 9, it was Hebrews 9.22, where it says, there's no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. You see, in Islam, we have the concept of repentance and forgiveness. Yes? It says, Kullu bani Adam that means every child, every son of Adam, that means every human being, commits sins. Yes? Commits errors. But the best amongst them, yes, is the one who repents. That means whenever we commit sin, we should repent to God. We shouldn't be, um, we shouldn't be arrogant. We shouldn't be like saying, oh, it doesn't matter. We should be regretting that and repenting. Yes? And, and if that is the case, what I mean is that we don't... That's what we do too. Yeah, what, we, what, I, what I'm saying is that we don't say that there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. But for you, the condition of shedding of blood is something that you cannot get away from. We don't have any human being shedding blood for us. We can ask God directly to repent. We have no middleman like Jesus to shed blood for us. Well, he did already. Yeah, but we don't believe that. <laughs> he did it for you. Christians, we don't believe it either. I know you don't believe yes. it. Yes. So this is the main crux of the matter. But what I'm saying. You believe in the gospel. You believe in the. You believe in some parts of the gospel, and then some parts you don't believe. No, in fact, we don't believe. We don't need to believe. Even if we don't have any of the gospel, we have the Quran. So everything that came before. Yeah, the Quran told you to go to the Injil and, and to go to the Christians and ask them, and they will explain. To what does the Injil mean? And tell you about the Messiah. Yeah, what does the Injil mean? It doesn't say that, but what does the Injil mean?